It's Inspiring Vanessa here and welcome back to another fabulous Instagram live interview for all of you. I hope you have been doing well, um, keeping healthy. Obviously, I believe that today is also mental health, mental health awareness day as well. So I've seen a lot of people who I follow posting about that, which is really, really important. Um, but I hope you have been doing well and hopefully enjoying all these interviews that I've been doing recently. It's always so fun to speak to new people from also all around the world. So we can just say thank you to social media for that um, also. But today's guest um, on my interview for today is the lovely Jordan Curat, and she's also based from the USA, so we're going to have a bit, of a, a bit of a mixture from accents, and um, she is a model and actress. Um, when I was looking on her resume and what she does to kind of come up with the questions for this interview, I was so blown away, bl blown away by what she's done. And obviously she seems like such a talented and very genuine person. So I'm very, very excited to be interviewing her today. And she just genuinely seems very wise beyond her years. So um, I can't wait for this conversation. Hopefully you guys are feeling the same. But if you have any questions that maybe I haven't prepared for Jordan to answer, please leave a question down below or use the icon and type in a question through there. And I'll be sure to select some of them so that she can answer some of them at the end of this interview. But now I'm going to bring her on and then we can just get straight into it waiting connecting hi. hi how are you i am great how are you i'm good thank you i love your curls they look very very nice thing about your whole outfit and oh great. thank you thank you um well i hope you've been doing well what have you been up to today or what are you going to be doing during the day well, I am finally going to be seeing my friend after many months, which Aww. I'm happy about. <laughs> um, and we're just going to have a sleepover, which is super fun, and I cannot wait. I mean, I love sleepovers. They are so much fun, especially when it's your, with your like best friend. And yeah, you're just going to have a great reunion, so I wish you all the best yeah. of luck, and I hope you have um, a fun time. But we're just going to jump into the first question for this interview, um, which is, when did you start acting, and how did you realise you had a passion for it? Well, I started acting when I was 18 months and I got into print at that time, which led me to more commercials and stuff. But um, I found a passion when I first started watching Disney Channel because I was, I, I'm obsessed, I still am obsessed with Disney Channel. <laughs> um, but um, I loved watching Dog with a Blog, Austin and Alley, and I was just like, wow, I want to be one of those people. And then, <laughs> and so I asked my mom if I could get into it and she was super helpful and she helped me become where I am now. I mean, that is so amazing. You started when you were 18 months. 18 months yeah. old, that is, that's crazy. I mean, even if I talk to some child actors or actresses, they say they started at like five. So 18 months, you started very, very early on. So that is yeah. really amazing to hear as well. And shout yeah. out to mum for guiding you in the right path and letting you do what you wanted to do. But that is um, amazing. I'm kind of speaking of Disney Channel. I know that you've actually appeared on Disney Channel twice. That must have been such a dream come true. You were on Disney Channel in Bizarre Bark, Raven's Home as well. You've also been in The Neighbourhood on CBC. You've played Molly in Marriage Story, which is on Netflix. And you're also going to be in the upcoming ABC show called Home Economics. So you've done so much already. What does your dream project look like? Well, um, uh, my dream project, uh, I mean, home economics is just honestly my dream project because I've been waiting for a role forever on this and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I, I wasn't expecting this like at this age. I'm just like, what? <laughs> and so I, I'm just really happy that I got to play Shamaya and hopefully we'll be coming back for uh, uh, episode two. I'm Fingers crossed, but <laughs> I definitely had a blast um, with all the crewmates, castmates, so that's definitely my dream role. But another dream role would definitely be to be on a movie with Zendaya. I love Zendaya. She's just... Definitely. I mean, same here. Maybe, maybe we can all play like sisters. Yes. That... I feel like that could work. <laughs> but that, that could work. So fingers crossed that you get to work with her in the future as well. Yeah. Fingers <laughs> crossed for me as well. Fingers crossed for everyone because she seems like um, a fantastic person to work with. 
Um, but tell us a little bit about working um, on Disney Channel. What was it like when you found out that you got the role? Well, working on Disney Channel was so much fun. It was crazy because I have been, um, well, when I first got the role for Bizarre Bark, I was just blown away because that was like my first TV show role. And I'm just like, whoa, I've never, I've never booked anything like this before. And I was literally crying tears of joy because I was so happy. <laughs> And um, now that I, and then I got to be on Raven's Home, which was such a blessing, and I'm just so happy that I got the opportunity to be um, on the big screen with everybody. <laughs> I mean that is so that is so amazing. I mean when I was looking at that, I was like, oh my gosh, this girl has almost done everything at such <laughs> a young age already. Um, but the next question is, how do you prepare for auditions or learning lines for a role? Yeah, so of course you gotta be prepared beforehand. So I just take it really slow. Like um, if I have um, maybe like two days, I'll just get half the page or you know maybe all the page done and then um, I'll just sleep on it and then I'll wake up the next morning and do it with my mom and get through it. <laughs> so how long would you say that it takes you to learn like let's say two pages of lines between one other character, how long would you say that that would take you to learn? Well, I've been doing this for a long time, so I've gotten really used to memorizing lines. So it would probably take an hour to memorize just two lines. Um, I have had this time where I had to memorize maybe eight pages and- Whoa, that is a lot. <laughs> that of home economics, and it was for an audition, and. I got it done in like an hour and a half, but it was pretty tough. <laughs> I mean, that is absolutely amazing, but obviously it's kind of, it's not surprising because obviously you've been doing it for such a long time that you're very used to it and learning lines and we're ready, but that is so cool to it's learn. Like, yeah. If you like, want to do it from the bottom of the, your heart, then you'll memorize mm -hmm. it. Yeah, if you're passionate about it, then you're going to work as hard as possible to get those lines through and make sure that you, are, that you turn up to the audition or to set and you make sure that you're you're prepared and that kind of takes away a bit of the nerves as well that you are prepared yeah, and you know what to say definitely so the next question is who would you say you look up to in the acting industry oh my gosh again Zendaya she's just I love her so much and she <laughs> is natural with her acting it's crazy it's just like I want to I, <laughs> I thousand percent agree <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, who else would you say that you look up to? Maybe mm -hmm. in, maybe not even in acting, it could be in anything for, for example. Well, I look up to many people in acting. It's, it's crazy, I, like the list goes on. <laughs> but um, I feel like um, Zendaya will definitely be at the top list. And then um, I think Ruth Guinnessburg, even like, my best condolences to her, but she was it, like, I look up to her because of what she's done for women's rights. Even though it's not part of like, the industry, um, she's just done so much for the world. And I I just, she's amazing. Mm. I love that you mentioned that as well. It shows that you're very educated and you know what you're talking about, which is really crucial as well. So that's really um, great to hear. So moving on kind of away from your acting career and moving towards your modeling career, so you are also a model. Um, obviously, you're very, very gorgeous, and you've done. Um, you're very, very welcome. And you've done sketches. I mean, I love sketches when I was little. You've done Amazon. You've also done a commercial for the Super Bowl. So, what brand would you love to work with in the future, and why? I'm sorry, it kind of glitched out on that last oh, one. Oh, sorry. I'll just repeat it again. No worries. <laughs> so, what brand would you like to work with in the future, and why? Oh my gosh, that is so tough. Um, you can give us a top three. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's crazy. Um, well, I think, huh. Well, I, you know, I really like Nike. Uh, I love, I love their brand and, you know, I really like their stuff. Um, I also love PacSun. They have such cute jeans, but I gotta wait till I'm a teen for that one. Cause like, <laughs> They're, they're the big kids there. But, um, <laughs> and um, anything else I would probably choose? Oh my gosh, that's such a tough one. Oh, Zara, I love Zara. Oh, I love Zara as well. It's just very classy, all of their, all of their style. Yeah. And I feel like the photo shoot would be so cool because everything just seems very simple. 
also very elegant. I can I can definitely envision you on like Zara kids billboards or maybe when you're older doing proper Zara. So fingers crossed that eventually you'll get there in the future or what's one of the brands that you just um, mentioned just now. But um, not only are you an actress and a model, you've also released a song which is called Lift Me Up. We've actually um, listened to it and it is such a lovely song. So what is the song about and are you going to release music in the future? Well, the song is about anti-bullying and how we have to lift each other up and not bring each other down. And I do have some music that will be released in the future. It's coming really soon. Um, we're, we're working on it. It's coming really soon. I can promise you guys that. But um, yeah, it's about anti-bullying. And I really got the inspiration from um, when a lot of kids in my old school were getting bullied by these few bullies that were just really mean. And, um, we, we, I just found a way to turn that into a song. I mean, that is so amazing, especially, wait, how old were you when you wrote that song? Um, I think I was like either nine or 10. Wow. I mean, that really shows how observant you are as well. And it's so just amazing to see, obviously, you at such a young age, kind of just having a very good understanding of how everything works and trying to do something to help towards that. So congratulations for just- <laughs> you know, taking that step forward and trying to help other people, which is fantastic. Oh, <laughs> sorry, which is <laughs> fantastic. Um, but where can people listen to your song? And also, can you give us any new hints on when the next song will be coming out? All right, so um, you can find my song on all platforms, um, Spotify, Apple Music, um, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> But um, you can, I, I, I do have a hint about- Give us a little sneak peek. Uh, I, I can't give you about when it's gonna be released because we're working that one out. Um, but <laughs> I do have a hint of what the song is about. It's about how you have to shine. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, when it's released, then I'll kind of just connect the dots backwards and understand what you're talking about. But I'm very, very excited to see that um, come out. Hopefully that everyone else um, enjoys it just as much as probably you did um, while creating it and obviously seeing it um, as well. But my final question before we get some questions from the viewers is what could we be expecting from yourself in the future? What, what do you want to do in the future apart from maybe acting or modeling or if you want to continue doing that? Well, I really want to start um, my own business because I, I'm, I'm just like, I feel like that would just be such a cool experience. I've always wanted to uh, have my own boutique ever since ah. I was like, older with um, my best friend, Soleil. We would literally plan out our whole boutique. It was gonna have like a smoothie shop in it. It was crazy. But um, uh, we planned that out when we were little and um, I've always wanted to be a fashion designer. So maybe one day that can come true. I mean, that would be, that would be amazing, I feel like. I feel like you've got a very nice fashion sense. So, Thank or you. if you could, that would be so cool if you could play a role that, or you played a fashion designer or a fashion model. So you got to wear all that costume on set. That would, I thought that'd be such a fun role to play or just a role that involves lots of costumes. Yeah, definitely. That would be so much fun. For sure. So now we're gonna get into some questions from the viewers. And the first question that we've got from the comments section, if I can just scroll up to find it, is... Um, how did you get signed with an agency? What advice would you give to someone who's trying to find an agency? Well, um, I did start out with... I'll just give you the full detail here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I first started um, acting by um, getting just a manager in San Francisco because I lived in San Francisco at the time I first got an agency. Um, I did um, have to do a, a, a college kind of film. I, I volunteered to be a part of this college film and I just submitted it to this agency. And now they represent me in San Francisco, 
but I have been using, I did use Casting Frontier and All, All Access for Actors at the time. Um, so I did some more projects there, which got me connected to a few agencies. We did have some industry friends that recommended um, a manager too, which is now the best manager. I love her so much. <laughs> and um, that's basically how I got signed with an agency. So maybe connections and just getting yourself out there. Mm, definitely and make sure that it's not a scam make sure it's legitimate so I feel yes. like getting recommendations from your friends who are also in the industry is very helpful because then you know that if they're getting roles that means it's legitimate <laughs> yes they do research too yeah definitely um so the next question is uh oh I feel like I've lost it <laughs> Oh, is 12 years old um, old to start acting? Not at all to be, no, not at all. You can start acting when you're 12. It's, it, I mean, a lot of people right now are actually looking for 12 year olds or pre-teens or, or, or teens. So I feel like it's the best time to be, to start acting. So definitely go for it if you want to start. Mm, for sure, I mean, Age is just a number at the end of the day. I mean, if you look at Jordan, she started when she was 18 months old. So there's really no saying how old you should be or how young you should be um, to start acting. And also a great example um, to kind of answer that question as well is Morgan Freeman. I think he kind of got his big break when he was in his 70s, I believe. I yeah. think, well, he obviously he wasn't like middle age. He was obviously getting quite old. And for him to kind of get his big break in the industry, despite his age was just so fantastic so that's a really great example yeah, it, it doesn't matter see where what, he's at now yeah you can book something any at any age definitely i mean you never know what the casting directors are looking for you could be the perfect person for them for their new role in a new upcoming movie film if you want to do theater and a new show and a new play you never know what could happen so the best thing to do is just put yourself out there just in case anything could be happening um, in the future. Someone commented, there is no limit, um, definitely for sure. Um, <laughs> so one of my, one, another question from myself is, um, where can we find you on social media to keep up with your journey? Yes, you can find me on all my social medias at Jordan Kira and on my TikTok at Jordan Star. And who would you say is your favorite TikToker? Oh my goodness, that's so hard. Um, <laughs> but I also love uh, Charlie D'Amelio. I mean, I love Charlie. She's very unproblematic. She's a very good example for the younger yeah. generation. Yeah, definitely. Um, another question that someone has just sent in is, do you guys have tips on digitals? I believe that's like social media, how to make a name for yourself on there, I think is the question. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's what it is too. Um, well, I would just say, that make sure uh, you're posting new pictures uh, with different outfits maybe every week and that that would probably gain an audience and make sure you gain the audience that you want. Like if you wanna start a uh, fashion social media or a modeling social media, just post pictures of cute outfits and, and um, maybe just promote yourself out there. Um, you can um, do Instagram where you can maybe like i think you pay like 15 dollars for it to promote on the explore page um that could work but if you don't want to do that which honestly save your money there <laughs> um i would recommend uh looking at maybe some pr agents or uh looking at some youtube videos to help get yourself promoted without having to spend money on it <laughs> i mean that is um amazing advice and especially even on social media it's also when people are trying to create like um a profile on a website or an agency if they're trying to build their portfolio um kind of going off what you were saying with posting instagram photos if you want the casting directors or the people who are going to be looking at your profile um for a certain role always have different hairstyles so they kind of can envision you as a character in different ways so you can just yeah. kind of be more versatile um with your portfolio so use that and reflect that on your social media account also when you're referring or showing that to um, agencies or casting directors whatever that might be they want diverse stuff happening yes, definitely they yeah. want to see what different how you can shapeshift <laughs> quite yeah, literally yeah. 
some in actors if you do have like anything like if you want to verify verification make sure you're going to the real person because there are some accounts that will be like oh yeah for one thousand five hundred dollars we can get you a verification so just be careful i get that a lot just don't worry about it and just wait till you can actually get the blue check mark yeah i got a message like that as well in my request and it was like oh yeah would you like to get a verification i work with instagram but the account was private and it didn't have anything to do with instagram so always make sure like we're trying to be a bit more aware about what people could be trying to do I and mean, it doesn't matter if you have a massive following or a smaller following they can just contact you just because they feel the need to so always keep that in mind um, as well that's a really important point to bring up as well and um, the same person just asked are you guys both models we both are um, yeah. but yes and um, if you have any more questions leave them down below right now but um Jordan do you have any last final words some inspiring I words to give the viewers having me because it was an honor being here with you and oh, thank you so sweet and I love your style and hopefully we can do this again um definitely I feel like we should definitely do this again and um speak to you soon do you have any last words to share to the viewers oh yeah make sure you be yourself um and if you are trying to start something make sure to be you again like I'm saying because you want to gain the right audience and you, you don't want to stick to something that you don't want to do for the rest of your life. But um, I hope you guys have a great day, stay safe and have a, have a live life. <laughs> live life to the fullest. Um, that yeah. is some lovely advice. So hopefully everybody kind of took that in. And also today is Mental Health Awareness Day. So hopefully that is going to help you have a better day or better upcoming week as well um, but thank you all to who were tuning in today Jordan thank you so so much for being my guest today it was so lovely speaking to you I wish you all the best of luck in the future and success more than you've already achieved um, currently and yeah I'll be looking out for that new song coming out soon thank you well, it was lovely speaking to you and I'll speak to you soon all right, all right. Goodbye. thank you bye so now it's the end of this interview. I hope you all did enjoy it. It was lovely speaking to Jordan. She was so, so lovely. Um, make sure to go and follow her on her Instagram and also on her TikTok account to see more content from herself and maybe what she'll be doing in the future and also um, her feature in ABC um, Home Economics. I was going to be coming out soon. I'm very, very excited to see that. But thank you also so much for tuning in today. Make sure to go and check out my Amazon Prime show, which is on, well, which is on Amazon Prime called The Inspiring Vanessa Show. And if you're watching this on Instagram, make sure to follow me. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. And if you're listening to this on podcast, make sure to stay tuned for more episodes with more inspiring interviews. And um, thank you also so much for tuning in and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everyone.